You walk off stage and get on that fucking thing? You feel like a king. You got a driver? What do you give a fuck? You don't give a fuck about anything. I could be on the road forever in that. Just making eggs on that little stovetop. No, you're in there drinking. You're doing what you want. You're watching Goodfellas. They're fucking anchorman. That is pretty beautiful. It's so re- well. It's an experience too. You're riding in that thing. You're that's a retro experience. That's not just oh. a truck. Yeah, that thing. I you know, my wife nixed it. She's like, where are you gonna put it? Whatever. I go. The fucking driver will keep it. I don't need it. She was right. My wife's always right. Not well, always, but mostly. Women don't like when you collect shit. Like, where are you gonna put that? They don't like that. You get oh, too dude. many things. No, that's I know. I half know. the reason why I got this place. Collect shit here. Oh, yeah? Nobody can say nothing. This spot, no one says nothing. No, but then it becomes, you spend more time down there than you do up here. I don't, though. I got it, I got it nailed. I figured it out. Get up early. Oh, you're being such a jerk. <laughs> That's why they don't have a point. I don't. I, actually, I can actually refute your opinion, your point or whatever. It's so universal, too. All women have that response. Like, oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Hmm? Stay away at the highway. Yeah. That's it. Well, imagine being them and watching you. Imagine being a woman, have taking care of your children. You know, you give birth, you get this little tiny infant, and then financially you're relying on this fucking maniac who's out there flying helicopters and fixing cars and I know. playing drums all day. It's like, what are you <sighs> as long as the money keeps coming in, they can't say anything, but they're like, What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. At the end of the day, you married an eight year old. <laughs> 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 you want to marry a comedian? Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, you're lucky we're not drug addicts. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I gotta, I gotta work on myself, man. I gotta fucking, you know, I, I just, yeah, I, I am a difficult person to, to live with. Evidently. I didn't realize it, but like, I'm now looking at it, honestly, stepping back and looking, I go, yeah, I can see that. I uh, can fucking see that. Yeah. I've thought about it. I'm definitely difficult. Well, if you don't think about it, they'll remind you about it. Yeah. But I mean, I, I would just imagine relying on me. I mean, I'm reliable. Like, I'm, I'm not I want to be like, look, if, if, if you, you could have married the me that worked in a fucking warehouse and I would have been the same thing, you know, and it, we would be in a fucking studio apartment. Here's the deal, though. They wouldn't have married you. Huh? They would have found someone better. Yeah. 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 If you were just fucking off, never got your shit together. No, you know what it is about women too is their ability to move on. Yeah. Woo. Like I've, I've always said, like if I ever fucking died, how quickly all my clothes would be down at the Goodwill, you know, and she'd just mm-hmm. be like, you know, sell the house. Let's just burn some sage. Yeah. That was interesting. All right. Well, all next my up dis- to the plate. <laughs> all my discussions <laughs> with biologists and people who study, like what's Gad Sad's, uh, what is his discipline? Behavioral psychology, but he studies, you know, his motivation. name is Gad Sad. Is it yes. his last name? It's his full name. S A A D G A D. That's his first name. Gad S A A D is his last name. Does it rhyme? Does it also Lebanese rhyme? Lebanese Canadian evolutionary behavioral scientist. Okay. Brilliant guy. He was so on the in Lebanon. Yesterday. Does his name still rhyme? It's a good question. Mm-hmm. Is there anywhere he can Gad go? Or it's, no, me just, my name's Gad Sad. No, he calls himself the Gad Father. He's a great oh, guy. Oh, so he, he he just steered into it. He's a great guy. So I can hilarious. imagine when he's 13. But brilliant when Our he's talking sad. about- last name's Sad. Why would you name me Gad, <laughs> Mom? Gad, Sad. I don't think Sad means the same thing over there. You know? Different language. It, it, but at the end of the day, it rhymes. There's no country you can be on. You could be on that fucking little island where they shot that guy with the arrows, and they, they're going to make fun of you. It's They'll true. They'll probably kick you off the island. Yeah. Can't, you can't name your kid. Like, some of these celebrities, some of the fucking names they name their kids, it's just like, don't you remember school? You don't remember how <laughs> fucking mean kids were? Why are you giving the, a, a, a point, painting a fucking... I get it. You're creative. Yeah. Have a meditation room. Fucking don't do that with the name. I know. Give him a nice bill name. Yeah. William. This is Folding Chair Johnson. People need to express themselves. They do it through the naming of their children. My other favorite thing that what they do is when they fucking they they put their political agenda on them. Like the kid doesn't even have a fucking chance. Like this whole thing, like uh, gender roles, babies. By the way, that my little experience being a dad going to kid birthday parties, they those kids are not old enough for that behavior to be learned. 
Dude, the kids come, the boys show up. It is fucking Braveheart. <laughs> they come over the fucking hill. Yeah. The, the, the girls are social. They're sitting there. They're kind of, they're taking things in. You know, the kids, boys come in. They fucking, th- dude, I, we were at one on Saturday and there was this this kid who's hilarious. He looked like a little Bobby Hurley. He's a point guard, right? And um, he was playing this game. He had like this ball and he was using his, his, his like forearms as a bat and he was hitting it, then he would catch it, and then he would throw it between his legs, and he was doing all this. This kid's hand-eye coordination was great for his age. So over in the corner where I was sitting with my daughter was these uh, like little like sort of like cushions that someone had put together, like three-piece thing, and made it into like a little chair for so an old person like me could sit down. So I stood up because I was worried the ball was going to hit, so I was kind of guarding that. So he went over and got the ball at one point, and just seeing the chair there, you know, all built like that, he just saw it and just kicked it and just <laughs> destroyed it and then continued on. I was thinking like, why did he do that? Because he's a boy. He's a boy. Yeah, we like ruin shit. Well, you got a lot of energy. Little kids like need something to do that's physical. Their their little bodies have their little little batteries overflowing with energy. You I'm just give them saying stuff to do. that their shit was all about like grabbing, throwing, Smashing. breaking. Yeah, breaking. Yeah. Do you remember being a kid? Yeah. Everybody did that. It yeah. Was, so this it's normal. This whole thing of like like well, women aren't aggressive like that <laughs> because you know a society blah, blah, standards. Yeah, I think it's they're aggressive in like I think that they they literally from like just survival shit. They're looking at like all right, that's what I have to compete with, and there are you see them looking at the boys who appear to be dominating, and what they are is they're actually showing all of their cards, and the little girls are already taking it in, breaking them down, knowing well I can't get physical with this person, I can't like dominate this person physically. This is definitely. And, and they just immediately start going like, that's why they're fucking smarter than we are, I think. No? <laughs> Did I lose you somewhere in that? I don't necessarily think they're smarter. I think what's going on is that uh, men have, we have different DNA and the, the, the genes are aggressive. And men Whatever. are supposed I'm to be doing sh- I'm, I'm, reckless shit. Right. That's, that's I'm just saying it's not, it's not society didn't sit down no, and t- they didn't watch three serial commercials and then be like oh i need to be fucking this i I just think that's that's just some uh bullshit that adults come came up with and uh it's not just adults it's almost always women it's women that think that there's something wrong with the way men are raising their sons they think there's something that like this idea of (laughs) these men raising these kids and these kids being aggressive is because of the way they've been coached. That's not true. It's just, that's just a part of being a boy. There's a bu- shit ton of studies. If people wanted to actually look at the science, I mean, if you leave boys alone with toys and girls alone with toys, boys will gravitate towards trucks and fucking, you know, things that they can hit and smash and girls sit down there with little teacups and they play with dolls. It's natural. It's just a hundred percent natural. Yeah. Well. There was a documentary on babies. You know what? Babies are gender neutral. They're raising their kids gender neutral, so they don't call them a boy or a girl. And my thing with that is there's no way you're not saying to your son, you're sure you don't want to wear the dress? And then the kid wants to fucking, (laughs) wants the parent's approval. Yeah, I didn't want that football. I guess I wanted the dress. And it's just like, like I said, you know, my kid's barely two, so what the fuck do I know? I'm just saying my limited experience at kids' birthday parties is it's not even I, how it was ever even questioned that, like, they're too fucking, too young. They're fucking year and a half, two years old. Like, you're telling me that society has exactly. already. Yeah, they have. It's 